Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at the drop zone extension in Visual Web Builder version 17 that allows you to upload files onto your website. So without not talking further, let me just go ahead and then head over to Visual Web Builder. On Visual Web Builder, you first have to install the extension. So you simply come to tools and then search for the extension manager. And then you come to all under um, online gallery. You click on yes. This is going to take some time depending on the speed of your internet. And then after that is done, you go ahead and then search for drop zone. So I already have it installed. That is why you don't see it there. But in case you don't have it installed, you simply go ahead to install it. Now, once you are done installing the extension, you come to your toolbox and then search for it that is drop zone. So you click on it and then draw on your canvas. The good thing to know is that you can use this extension either within a layer or your layout grid, but I'm just going to use this on an empty canvas. So after dragging and dropping the extension on your canvas, you have to go ahead to double click to configure it. Um, to suit exactly what you want. The first part of the configuration is basically how you want to style it. That is, it has to do with the type of font you want to use, the background color, the font size, the pattern around the font, the border, um, border width, and the border type, and so on. Then you come to the button also, the type of button you want to use, that is under the font or some icon. You can select that. The background color, the border um, color, the border size, and so on. And then you can also select the, um, the icon color. After the style configurations, you come to the bottom part, which has the upload option. So this allows you to specify the type of files you want to accept. So over here, all you have to do is to enter the file type and if you have multiple file type, you separate it with a comma. So for images, we have the JPEG, um, that is JPG, JPEG, JF, PNG. Um, if you want BMP, you just put a comma, you type BMP. If you want PDF, you put a comma, you type PDF. Now, PDF is not an image file type, but this allows you to specify the type of files you want to receive on your um, site. Now, after that, you have the folder where you want the files that are going to be uploaded to go to on your site. So by default, the name of the folder is upload. So if you want to change that, you can go ahead to change that. And then after that, you have um, the maximum file size. So the file size here is in megabytes. So if you want to change this, you can go ahead to change that. So depending on the file type, you may be accepting will determine the size limits that you'd want to put over here. Now, by default, a uh, script is going to be created once you use this extension. There's no need to change this or um, tweak it. You just have to leave it as it, as it is. Parallel upload is the number of uploads you can do at a time once you bring in your files. And if you check upload multiple files, this allows you to upload more than one files onto um, the server. Now, these are some warnings or some text that shows up based on what you are doing. So the first one says invalid file type. So if you select or specify any file type which is not within what is specified here, this is the prompt or text you are going to get. If you are using a file which has a bigger size than what is specified here, then this is going to be um, the prompt or notification or what you are going to be notified with. And if you want to remove the files you've already uploaded, you have the chance to do so. And by default, this is what shows it says drop files here to upload. That is what it's showing here. So if you want to change that, you can do that. And then you have upload. So this is the upload button. If you want to change that, you can do that as well as the maximum files exceeded. Once your files reaches um, more than two uh, megabytes, that is what you specified, that is going to give you this 
prompt as well. So basically, this is how to go about configuring the drop zone extension. So let's assume I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead to upload this to uh, my local host server to test it. So let me just, I think I don't even have to upload it to my local host server. Let me just go ahead and then preview it and see if it's going to work with the default WYSIWYG web builder server. So this is it. Let me get an image file. So, well, it seems to work. So this is 0 0.3 megabytes. And as you can see, I have my file over here. If I want to remove it, I remove it. So let me just go ahead to add more files. That should work. I want to exceed my file here. Let me see if I can get, let me just get a different image file I can upload. Looks like my file sizes are not so huge. I need a huge file size, so maybe this would do. Let me see if this is going to work. It looks like it's accepted them fine. Okay, so it says you cannot upload any more files exactly because it has exceeded the two megabytes that I specified. So you can see that. So if I want to remove this, I can go ahead and remove um, any of the files I don't want to have. And as I keep removing them, um, it makes room or will make room for other files for me to be able to upload as you can see that. So basically, this is how to go about using the drop zone extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. The good thing is you can use this alongside with your form. So if you have any application forms on your site and you won't be able to drop maybe their CVs and the rest, this is one way you can go about doing that. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.